Welcome back to Tino Football. In today's video, we're gonna be going over one of the biggest trends in football that we've seen a lot this season. And that's gonna be on the stiff arm. Now we've seen a lot of trends in football over the recent years. Hurdling was a big thing a few years ago. And this season, most recently, we've seen a lot of stiff arms, specifically Derrick Henry. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys some exercises where you can improve your stiff arm. Now stiff arming in football is nothing new. You see it in just about every level of football and the action of the stiff arm is actually something that's quite natural as a runner as long as the ball is in the opposite hand of where you're trying to stiff arm. Now when we look at the actual motion of a stiff arm of pushing a defender away, there's actually three main muscle groups that are engaged in that motion. First, you're gonna have the shoulder and specifically you're gonna have the anterior deltoid. That's gonna be the front part of your shoulder that's responsible for moving your arm up and down in this motion. So when you think about a running motion, you think about that stiff arm, that's gonna be the first part that activated the anterior deltoid, that front part of your shoulder. The next muscle group we're gonna look at is actually the pectoral muscle. That's gonna be your chest. That's actually part of the movement as well. You wanna have a strong chest to have that pushing motion of when you're engaging in that stiff arm. And then lastly, of course, we're gonna take a look at the tricep. That's gonna be very important for that arm extension at the end of that stiff arm to make sure you're pushing the defender away. Now many of you may think a stiff arm is all about strength and how much weight you can lift to actually push a defender away. But I'm here to tell you that it's more about power. That's gonna be a combination of both your force and your speed. Your force is gonna be the strength, the amount of weight you can move, and then the speed is gonna be how fast you can move that weight. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three exercises, really six exercises, but three supersets of exercises where you can build your shoulder strength, your chest strength, and your tricep to make sure you're delivering maximum power in your stiff arm. Now the first exercise we're gonna look at is gonna be for one of the biggest muscle groups. It's gonna be in your chest. It's a complex movement. We're gonna look at starting in our superset with a dumbbell flat bench press. And then we're gonna quickly move right after that without a break into a plyometric pushup. Now starting with our dumbbell flat bench chest press, we're gonna use a higher end weight. So you can see here I'm going to the end of the rack uh, taking 75 pounds and we're only going to do five reps. So you want to make sure you're moving heavy weight. You want to go for a, a slower count. You know, you can count two seconds up, two seconds down uh, with zero pause uh, at the top of your rep and you want to just crank out five sets. From there, you're going to quickly go to a plyometric pushup. Here, you're going to increase the number of reps to 10 and in a plyometric pushup, you're starting in your traditional push-up phase. The only difference is when you're extending, you're extending with as much speed and power as you can, pushing yourself up off the ground, and you can try to clap your hands in between uh, to make sure you're getting some of that distance. And we wanna make sure we're doing this at least 10 times. Now we're gonna repeat this exercise in this superset three times. So again, we're gonna start with our dumbbell, a flat bench chest press, do that five times, and then move on to your plyometric push-ups and do those 10 times. Now between your sets, you wanna make sure that you're taking about a minute to two minutes in between to give your muscles a chance to recover. Now after you've completed your three sets of this superset, we're gonna move on to the next exercises. Now our next exercise is gonna focus on the anterior deltoid, that front part of your shoulder. And again, we're gonna do a superset. We're gonna start with our seated dumbbell shoulder press, and then we're gonna move into kneeling medicine ball throws. Now I'm gonna reduce the weight a little bit. We started with the heavier weight with the uh, chest press, and now we're going to go to the middle of the rack. I'm choosing 45 pounds, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're doing five sets here of your shoulder press, and you wanna make sure, again, you're using that same count. So two seconds up, zero pause at the top, two seconds down. We do that for five reps, and then we quickly move into our kneeling uh, medicine ball throws. And you see here, you're doing the same thing. You're using as much force and power as you can to really throw that medicine ball in the air. Now it's important here, try to just isolate your shoulders. Uh, don't use your legs, uh, squeeze your core, and making sure you're throwing that medicine ball. And you wanna do that for uh, 10 reps, just like in the last superset. So again, with this exercise, you're going to do three sets of the supersets 
and you're going to pause about a minute to two minutes in between to give your muscles a chance to recover. And now to finish this workout, to maximize the effect of your stiff arm, we're gonna focus on isolated exercises for the tricep muscle. Now these two exercises are really gonna isolate the tricep. We're gonna start with skull crushers in the same way we did the other supersets. We're gonna to go to the end of the rack, the lower end of the rack, start with about 25 pounds. Again, you're only doing five reps. So you wanna choose heavy enough weight when you're doing the five reps, but you're doing them correctly. You wanna make sure that the cadence is about two seconds up, zero pause at the top, and two seconds down. You do that for five reps, and then you're quickly gonna move into your tricep dips. Yes, there's a slight variation between tricep dips and, and chest dips. It's just more of how you orient your body. Don't really worry about that. As long as you're on a dip machine or you can use a flat bench, here you can see I'm using a dip machine. Uh, do your tricep dips. Again, you're gonna use explosion and power, and you're going to go for reps of 10. Just like in the other two supersets that we talked about, you want to pause about 60 seconds to two minutes in between each set to make sure that you're giving your muscles enough time to recover. Okay, so that's it. Those are the three exercises or six exercises, three supersets that you can do to really improve your stiff arm, gain a lot of that power that you need to execute a great stiff arm. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and let me know if you tried this workout out, how it's worked out for you, how your body feels, if it's something new or something you've been doing. Thanks again, I'll see you guys next time. Me and my girl, he don't cry.